I'll call this meeting to order. Notice the meeting was properly posted on Monday, May 8, 2017. <coughs> Item number three, discussion of possible action to receive an update on employee benefits.
of the employee share would have gone up 14 percent had we implemented that change. And really, Larry, in my mind, and maybe I'm missing something, but in my mind, the way it would shore it up would be in two areas. The, the employee contribution would take some of the hit away that we're funding from the general fund reserve. If we increase the employer, employer share, then those employees that are paid out of special revenues, that would offload some of the employee benefit burden that we're supplementing with general fund reserve by utilizing special revenue or, or special revenue dollars for that. Now, those individuals that are in um, in offices and being paid from the general fund, it those folks that amount is not going to be an offset because it's yeah. still general fund dollars. Right. So it won't be a complete right. uh, savings to general fund. Uh, it right. would be. A significant amount. Probably, I mean, obviously revenue sources are part of the conversation on tonight's item, but we probably need a separate meeting and agenda item if we're going to recommend to them, whether we recommend it to them in June or we recommend it to them um, for next week's meeting on the employer contribution in July. Yeah. We need another agenda I think health care is a much longer conversation out of our strike zone, but like we had a group uh, in the past that the budget board had, so we have a two-tiered system. Um, we incentivize the blood draws and those health checks and all, and you know, people get a premium, a premium and stuff like that, but if, if we're going to take a hard look at this, uh, I think we take a hard look at it, but I don't know that it's DBT's Bailey Wick. Uh, I think it's that health group that existed in Matthews and Wilkerson. The wellness, the know, premium recommendations have always come from BET, though. Have they? Okay. At least in my memory. But I think I just an remember. overall look at it, if we just attach a band aid to some things that can We have until sometime in the middle of the fiscal year to wait. To get on this. But the actuarial comes out in September. We have last year's actuarial that we didn't act on. October. So it's always a fall deal because we set the rates. We didn't act on last year's actuarial. That's right. Yeah. And we have an opportunity July 1 to do that. You're talking about the county employer side. Employer side. Yeah, we have some of the employers. If we did increase it July 1, we'd bring about 1.9 million more into the employee benefits. Fund. Based on what they recommended for January, not what they recommended for July, right. which is where we are now. Right. And about 30% of that roughly would come out of special revenue funds. So. But we also have a new plan, right? Or we're supposedly going to have a new plan that's supposed to save us 20%, correct? Right? The, the total 1.9 million really is the 575,000. Yeah, right. yeah, I mean, because the other is a wash. Right. Right. And then you charge come them out or, or gonna or gonna yeah, yeah. yeah. So really, the number that we need to focus on is that that's your sure. five hundred seventy-five thousand savings. What do those increases entail? Are those just? Applied increases per month that's not adjusting deductibles or anything like that or no, no, costs? That's yeah. strictly premiums. Mm -hmm. that's all and that's just the employer side. We would have the 575. That's not looking at adjusting the employee side. But with our balance, what is it about 75, 25, 80, 20? whatever it is. I mean, whatever we do on the employee side is going to be a small amount compared to the employer side. Although it will be 100% of that amount because we won't be. So it may be close to the same. Employee side, increasing the employee share would bring about $690,000 additional to employee benefits. Well, and do you know, do you know how many of those, I know you don't know this, but 
how many of those employees, the 690,000, how many of those employees are general fund versus special revenue? It's about 7%, 30%. So you have $300,000 in general fund employees. We've got employees that in the, in we're, we're, we might be getting outside of um, this agenda item and we may need it. Oh, oh. Yeah, right. I'm fine. Just we may need a, a, a separate agenda item to get in depth, but if you're looking at increasing the employee share and we've got employees that are making little money, you know, uh, barely making it as it is, if the recommendation would be to, you know, increase, you know, wages to offset that increase on the employee share, well, 70% of that 600000 you know, I mean, that's going to eat up right. all of that 575000 that you've saved by shifting to the special revenue side. So From a cost accounting standpoint, though, I guess that's where we need to be. We need to just, right now, we're, we're just, we're, we don't have it, we're not truly tracking because we're just saying, okay, here's what we're going to put in benefits, and then anything else you need, we're just going to write a check. We need, it, 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 if we were Blue Cross Blue Shield, we couldn't do that. I mean, we ought to be acting like if we're going to be a, if we're going to be self-insured, let's act like an insurance company. Well, and the problem, the big problem is, if you don't take care of it incrementally, year by year, right. eventually it's going to come to the time when you've got to address it. And instead of being, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Now all of a sudden you're not able to do it one bite at a time. You're having to eat half of the elephant at once. We hadn't made adjustments. I know, I know. That's, that's my point. So that is something we got to consider. And then well, how many people participate in the, you know, when you get your blood drawn, you get, you know, they waive that much premium close to participation rate. It's about a 70 percent rate participation rate. Which, if you talk to people in that field, that's pretty high. I mean, that's a really good participation. Yeah, yeah, that's a big incentive, though. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's been high, high 60s to low 70s every time that we've done it. I believe I was working on a premium free month. That money's right. not going into important things. Exactly. And what is that? Entailing that the actuary take that into consideration? What's a month's premium? 1.1 million. Yeah. And so, so seventy percent is about for the bills what we can identify down the road. Right. I think I think I do too. To me, though, that gets to where what Rick was talking about earlier. Whether we give the the free month, does it really help the overall health of our plan and all of that? I think that's a health and wellness mm -hmm. if we ever get that group going back. But personally, I, I agree mm -hmm. with Christy. Well, the health and our turnover, though. I mean, they've identified the at-risk people. Let's say last year. So how many no, more people are coming in that haven't been screened? I mean, and that's a long term. You're not going to see the effects of the screening. Right. And it's not like, you know, maybe people, they may not be at risk this year, but next year they, they are. Maybe they have behavioral changes. Maybe it's hereditary. Maybe, you know, I mean, but anyway, uh, I think we beat that. Yeah. I'd like to see that committee start back. I would, I would, if there's no more conversation about the half a million dollars I'd move that we recommend to the budget board transferring $500,000 to employee benefits. Second. That's the next item. Oh, oh, that's nice. I don't think we finished three yet. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no. I move that we received Danny's report. <laughs> Second. Mm -hmm. And at a future meeting, if somebody would like to add the discussion on the, the rates, we can discuss that in more detail. Got a motion to second to receive the update. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Item number four, discussion of possible action recommended transfer of 500000 Move the item. Second. Motion second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Item five, discussion of possible action regarding any item currently on the BET watch list. Recommend that we, if we can, our, our two items, county clerks first two items there and then we take it off the list for this watch list for this fiscal year. We are still requesting
do that amount in our next fiscal year, but as of right now, we're, we're going to be okay through the end of this fiscal year based on this. all the changes we've made in our staff. Second. All right, there's a motion from the clerk's office on the second to remove the half Tyler minus 249-438 and the salary and benefit for records preservation employees of 225-020 from the watch list. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Christy, will you take care of that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, just one clarification on employee benefits since we just recommended it. Do you still want 500000 Take it. Like okay. uh, well, hang on. We've got 500000 on the list. Mm -hmm. We're Which making a recommendation to fund that. So I think that 500000 goes over into the recommendation column. Next month, we'll need a new, a new one. Well, we can add a lot. We can add to it. Yeah, we're going to this list right now. No. Right? No. no. Oh, we didn't yeah. tell any yeah, item currently on. Last month we, we cut it and left it there. What? No, no, it was a million, yeah. you remember, and we recommended uh, 500,000, we moved 500,000 over, that's oh, why it's only 500,000. Right. You're, right. you're right, you're right, okay. So it'll go to zero. Um, well, there won't be anything added to the next watch list. Well, we we're going to be middle of June. Right, and so it'll just be a recommendation. Yeah. yeah. If we adjourn. The special meeting today, and we reconvene a special meeting when we add an item to the special meeting to discuss the watch list, to discuss adding any more items to the watch list. Sure. You want to put it on there? So, yeah. Okay, so. Do we know where we are on the jail mechanical? No. What about the arbitrage? We can take that off. I, I can make a motion to, we won't get it done and completed this this year now. Okay. And the arbitrage, some of the arbitrage has already been paid on the lawn that had to be done with the refunding. So I'll make a motion to remove general government arbitrage at 25000 Before we, we act, I'm going to ask you a question. You said we can't completely finish that this fiscal year. I'm going to go out for bid. We have, we're going to need someone new. It's, it'll be but do we need to, since it's something that we know that we're going to have to do, right, next fiscal year, do we need to budget for that in our budget? We've know. not discussed that. So that food for thought when we yes. get into that, we'll want to look at that. Okay. So we've got a motion to remove the general government second. arbitrage of $25,000. We also have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We'll remove that from the watch list. Who's not here? Does anybody want to make the motion to remove <laughs> <laughs> from the watch list? <laughs> I'd like to get an update on the medical cap over at Zoom. The last time he talked, it's going down. I don't know how significantly, but he said it was going down a little bit. When we built our fund balance estimate, we assumed that this would come out of reserve. So. Well done. Um, you can take the shared 
I would ask them to share DFC contract loss, 1.65 come off the list. Uh, other than that, I don't have any updates. I know last month I did provide an update on to the inmate medical cap coverage. We had number was on the last month report we got was close to the $250,000 mark uh, when speaking with Armour. End of last week and hopes we get the newest report in time for this meeting. They didn't think they have it done. Um, so as soon as that is, is available, I'll find a way of sharing that. Uh, but I'm hoping it still trends down. Second, Mr. Scooter's motion to remove the 1.65 million from the watch list. All right, we got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, we will move that as well. Okay, Mr. Scoot. All right, item number six. Like to follow up questions okay. related to any estimate of need that's already been presented. We're doing that on the special meeting, so we don't really need to do that here. Um, same thing with item number seven. Item number eight. Is anybody wanting to make a recommendation at this point? No. Okay, item nine. New business. Is there any new business? Item number 10, citizen participation. Mm -hmm. Board comments? Steve? No, thank you. Christy, Mike? What time does the next meeting uh, convene? 10.30, 30, 7 minutes. Somebody needs to filibuster for 8 minutes, 7 minutes. No comments. I think you're okay. Mr. Scooter? Mm -hmm. No. Mr. Stone? I have the Reader's Digest version of Mr. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Motion is second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.